Welcome to the training program Manager Waste Management. It's time to begin the module Dry Waste Center and the unit types of plastic waste, paper waste and other waste. Please click start to begin. In this unit, you will learn about different categories of dry wastes and much more. Before going into details, let's have a look at the learning objectives of this unit. After completion of this unit, you will be able to categorize plastic waste, categorize paper waste, understand the challenges faced in waste collection operations, provide solutions to problems regarding waste disposal. To recycle plastic, a waste management manager must know about the category to which the plastic belongs. Plastic waste falls into two main categories, pre-use plastic and post-use plastic. Pre-use plastic are the type of plastics that has not met the specification that was needed for its designed use. They are also called production scrap. Examples are materials with wrong color, wrong hardness and so on. Such type of plastic may be suitable for other applications and has the potential to get recycled. Such plastics needs less processing to become suitable for use as a new product. Post-use plastic waste suitable for recycling falls under five categories such as plastic bottles, plastic films, rigid plastics, plastic foams and flexible plastics. Click each tab to know more. Paper waste generated in India comes from different sources like offices, printing houses, households, educational institutions and so on. These wastes differ on the basis of their recycling capacity. The different types of paper waste are writing or printing paper, packaging paper and newspaper. Writing or printing paper waste includes copier paper that comes from offices and cream wove that comes cream wove comes from printing houses. Packaging paper waste include waste paper that comes from households and offices. Newspaper include waste newspaper that comes from publishing houses and distributors. Household or municipal wastes are usually generated from variable sources where different human activities are encountered. Major sources of municipal solid waste are households generating around 55 to 80 percent followed by market or commercial areas 10 to 30 percent the composition of wastes from market or commercial areas include yard waste, food waste, plastics, wood, metals, papers, rubbers, leather, batteries, inert materials, textiles, paint containers, demolishing and construction materials. The challenges faced in waste collection operations are Production of too much waste One of the major waste disposal problems is attributed to the generation of too much waste. Every state and local authority suffer the problem of effective waste disposal due to the generation of too much waste. With throwaway consumerism, and companies and producers striving to maximize profits by producing one-time use products without prioritizing on reuse, recycling 
or the use of environmentally friendly materials. Toxic waste. Majority state and local authority legislations lack on regulating the ever-expanding manufacturing industries. Such industries produce toxic products that end up getting thrown away after use. Most of the products contain hazardous and health-threatening chemicals. Regulations based on vested interest with waste disposal and management becoming a profit-making venture, those who advocate for safe, quality and proper management of waste disposal are outmatched by industries in the business. Large enterprises dictate all aspects of the market, from operating landfills, sewer systems and incinerators to recycling facilities. Their aim is to make profits regardless of the waste reduction requirements or the resultant destructive environment impacts. Landfill Problems Most landfills lack proper on-site waste management, thereby contributing to additional threats to the environment. Leak and pollute groundwater and other neighbouring environmental habitats making waste management very difficult. Gives off potentially unsafe gases. Reliance on dying technologies. Waste disposal and management facilities as well as state resources have continued to rely on myopic and quickie solutions instead of developing effective recycling and waste reduction programs. Most states are reluctant and less creative towards advancing novel technologies for reducing the toxicity and volume of waste or enhancing recycling, especially solid waste. Not true green technologies. Recycling technologies such as plasma arc, gasification and pyrolysis are often marked as green but they are not 100% green. These technologies burn up waste with little or no oxygen. They are no different to traditional incinerators producing energy from burning waste. Eco-responsibility pertains to the three R's mantra of reduce, reuse and recycle. The solutions to waste disposal include Local communities, authorities and states putting more efforts towards education of waste management. Implementation and practice of three R's leads to management of waste and also move in the direction of achieving zero waste. Giving more emphasis on responsible resource used with objectives of avoidance, maximizing recycling and waste reduction methods. Adopting means to repair broken things instead of buying new, reusing second-hand items and designing reusable and recyclable products. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing valuable information on types of plastic and paper wastes, challenges faced in waste collection operations and solutions. You are welcome. Congratulations! You have completed the unit Types of Plastic Waste, Paper Waste and Other Waste and should now be able to Types of Plastic and Paper Wastes Composition and Classification of Different Wastes from Market or Commercial Areas Challenges in Waste Collection Operations Waste Disposal Solutions